The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is rated M for mature audiences 17 years or older. For blood and gore, intense violence, sexual themes, and use of alcohol. View discretion is advised. ...of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender your march to us, and take Ithgrad Raventhrone with you. Sorely the I think we've given him enough, so. Yarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Even the Dragonborn betray Skyrim. These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. Bah. This is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim, at least for the greater good, above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unslan. You should be pleased, Alison. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yard. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty I'm afraid there's a further problem, how a serious one. A I've discovered Dragon who the Greybeard's all? leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does I'll not go into great detail about that in a second. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. That's all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. 
by calling the dragon with the voice. He will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist. All right, so we now have a new shout. Sorry about my respect for a second there. Ah, Call dragon, Odavin. I'm no master. Um, we'll be doing that in a second. Luckily, we don't have to worry about the learning of the word itself because it's automatically learned to us. Since we're just calling out a dragon's name. Um, the Parthenax quest. That's kind of annoying. Um. If you want to join the Blades, and actually go through their quests again, do, do stuff with them, you have to kill Parthenax. It's mandatory. So if you haven't gotten the uh, Dragon Infusion ability perk, the only way you can get it now is if you kill Parthenax, which sucks, because Parthenax is awesome. Um, if you do plan on killing him, I recommend doing it after the main storyline, because if you don't, the ending is kind of lackluster. But that's neither here nor there. We'll worry about that when we get to that. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright, we gotta find the Earl. There he is. Riggins, that can have oh. well, that kid disappeared for a second there. Another wanderer here to lick my phone. Alrighty. Must we'll save quickly. We're ready, Dragonborn. As I promised, my men stand ready. Loading, loading, loading. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your here. word. Um. My men know what to do. I'll need this. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. The other one is for, uh. The bottom save file is for. The, uh. What's it called? It? Dongard. I'm going to run through the human side and record it for you guys uh, in a little bit. Or later at some point in time. Not exactly 100% sure when I'll do it, but I'll, I will get around to doing it. Alright. Don't run. I need my stamina. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. All right. Go ahead and call this. All right. Dragon rent. Yes. Got him. Didn't save that poor guard. That poor guard, though. Ah, I love that. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. Don't attack him while he's like this. Alduin, hmm? 
No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your Thuum for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Binduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Come? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. So now I got release You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings yeah. of one, you will Open never the set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Alright, let's get down there. I can't believe... You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. It's all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Alright, when we go to Skaldolphin, there's no turning back. You can't return to Skaldolphin. You can't leave it until Alduin's dead. So make sure you save. Alrighty. That's and done. Let's go. See the world as only a Dova can? So grit off. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the uh, Dova that was funny. will only Alrighty. increase. Amativ. Ah, it's called off. Playing both sides. Alright, but sure you have Dragon Rend out because there are going to be two dragons here. Actually, one on the map by the looks of it. Yeah, there he is. This is as far as I can take you. Alright, let's kill these, uh, Draugr first, real quickly. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. Ow. Ow. 
Got him. He's gonna come over here to land. Let's kill this guy uh, while we have the chance. Alright. The difficulty is too high for my current settings, unfortunately. I'll keep it on Apprentice, though. Hopefully, I don't have to, I don't have to decrease it in Novice. But I really don't want you know lose my place. There he is. I missed. Oh, it landed for me. Shot for some reason. Should have bought some more potions. Specifically, stamina potions. I should find some more here. But now he can't fly. Alrighty. A specific playthrough of this game with this file, and I don't. And uh, weight's one of the things I'm not. I'm not going to be using. Come on. There we are. So we explore around here if we want to. I'm not going to because uh, time restraints. It's really a shame you can't come back here. I really like uh, Skull Dolphin. Although with the uh, Dragonborn DLC, I've never really tried flying here. So, I may have to try that. my shout. I don't think they follow us in. Good, they don't. Alright, so my stand is back up. I don't have to worry about running out. That's great. That's a big problem with uh, being a vampire at a uh, no, I want to save that at a low level. 
I have plans for uh, this later on. Because one of the problems for being a vampire this level, you just don't gain. When you're out in the sun, the negative effects aren't negligible. But when you get to the level I was at, it's pretty much pointless. Charge. Nope. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> That's much better. Okay. A little bit of gold, nothing major. But I really could use some freaking potions. We'll come across those for a little while now. Kill you first. Draw her up behind me. Thankfully, that gives us a shit ton of health. Where is he? There he is. Right, this is. Well. Oops. This is normally, um, if you've gone, gone through the other quest lines, it's just filled with death lords. Dodge. Alright. Bad aim, buddy. Unfortunately, my armor set has no enchantments on it. Since this is the blade set, I want to keep it uh, relatively unenchanted until I'm able to do, give it a proper enchantment. Same thing with all my uh, katanas. As you can tell by no charge or anything on them. So I'm pretty much well under level. Interesting. What's in the chest? Ah, stamina potion. Snake. Good. Didn't need that potion. Decent at dodging arrows. Well. Right. Now we open this. That's a lot of skulls. Kick. I have a little soccer match. Alright. Where am I at?
actually gonna be using that for uh, something else later on. Well, I'd, damn it, I'm not gonna be using it for this playthrough. Damn it. Eh, I'll get another one later. <laughs> that was that was pretty smooth. You have to admit that, guys. I he was just about to fire, so I dodged it by stepping in front of a a pillar just for him to shoot it in the split second. Come on, get up there. Die. Bye-bye. Alright. Clever. Should be coming to me. Stories. Cause of my sneak. Ooh, a frost. Oh, wait, Lord. All right. Fox moth dragon. Fox moth dragon. Well, that was an easy one. Of course it's going to be dragons. And hop. This word wall, make sure you get it. If you don't get this, you'll miss this word. This uh, entire thune. It's also one of the more powerful shouts in the g entire game. But it's only useful outside. Stash of potions. All right, I'm actually gonna save and uh, reset the recording right now because it's almost well, almost been an hour. It's probably got this much done in an hour. Anyway, uh, I'll wrap.